At the beginning of the story, we see a boy, Nick, who studies in a college and lives with his mom, because his dad has passed away. Along with that, he writes a lot of good poems. He often sells some of his poems. He has a friend in college. When he was in the bathroom, some boys come and start hitting him. That's when the boy's head, a girl comes there, whose name was Annie. Annie does all the wrong things, like stealing, selling drugs and things like that. She lives like a boy. She came here because she wanted to take money from Nick's friend. When she asked for money, Nick's friend said, I don't have any money. That's why Annie's friend started hitting him more. She then tells Nick's friend, If you don't give me my money, then think about what I will do to you. When he came to the canteen, Nick was also sitting here. Seeing his condition, Nick understood that. Annie and her friends had beaten him a lot. He now went to Annie, who was sitting in the same canteen. He asks, How much money does my friend have to give you? When Annie did not answer, he puts some money on the table and asks, Is this enough? In a low voice, Annie says, Mind your own business. Nick felt bad. So he also returned and said, You are a broken, spoiled girl. And a loser too. Saying this, he was about to go. But Annie got so angry that she attacked Nick. And this is how the two of them fight. After a while, the two were sent to the principal's office. The principal tells Annie not to do this in the future, and sends her away. While well, he tells Nick that such girls are not right, so stay away from her. After that, he also leaves. At night, his friend came to Nick's house, who gives him some money, and buys a poem. He asks, there is a party last night, will you go to it? Nick says no, because tomorrow I am going to London. There is a meeting of writers in a very big academy. He also shows him his ticket. His friend asked, does your mom know about this? Nick says no. If she finds out, she won't let me go. Now Annie came to her friend, who also does the wrong thing like her. The two of them now stopped at a jewelry store. Annie breaks the glass there and steals all the jewelry. The next morning, when Annie starts going from there, she starts taking the stolen jewelry with her. His friend says, let the jewelry stay here. I will protect it. Annie says no, you can't protect it. Let it stay with me. Saying this, she left. On this, her friend got very angry. He calls the police and tells everything. After coming to college, Ani starts keeping that jewelry in her locker. Nick's friend saw her doing this. After a while, the police came here. When they searched Annie's locker, they found that jewelry. That's why they arrest Annie and take her. But because she was a student, she was quickly released. After a week, she is presented in court. After being released, she calls her friend and tells him that I was arrested. He asks, did you tell anything? Annie says nothing. Then he asks, who could it be? Who told the police everything? Although he was himself. But Annie thinks that he is Nick's friend, who gave all the information to the police, because he saw Annie near the locker. Now, because Nick was about to leave for London tonight, he says goodbye to his friend. Then when he came home, his mom also found out that he was going to London tonight, because his flight was late, and the call from the airport was picked up by Nick's mom. When asked, Nick says, Mom, I was about to tell you. She says, Don't lie, son. When did you have the ticket? You could have told me if you wanted. It's strange. I feel like I'm living with a stranger. And she leaves from here. Nick also felt bad. That's why he takes the ticket at night and goes to the party, about which his friend had told Nick. When his friend was coming to the party, Annie and her friends caught him. They beat him a lot to make him tell the truth. They started hitting him a lot. That's why he says it's not me, it's Nick. He gave all the information to the police. Here, he took Nick's name, because he felt that he had gone to London. But he was at the party, who gives his ticket to a girl. And now when he started going home, Annie and her friends also catch Nick. Here Nick's friend was also with them. They beat him a lot to make him stop breathing. Although his friend also stops them to do this, but they do not stop. Seeing all this his friend was very sad, because he felt that Nick is dead. They now leave him in a deserted place, and go away from here. Annie came to a friend. She tells him that Nick was killed by me. Her friend tells her to go away from here. Why did you come here? Although Annie felt bad after hearing this, but she leaves from here. The next day, Nick was sitting in the class with the other children. The teacher comes to the class and asks a question to all the children, whose answer no one knew except Nick. He stands up and answers. But surprised, his voice is not heard by the teacher and the children. Nick also felt strange. He asks, what's going on here? Are you making fun of me? When he said that, he got up. He started shouting wildly. He started waving his hand in front of everyone. But no one was able to see or hear him. He now picks up a book that was lying on the table and throws it away. But the next moment, when he looked at the table, the book was lying there. The teacher says that Nick will talk about his poem. When he is in the class, 
He was very surprised to hear this. He says, what's going on? I am in the class. Why is no one seeing? He now goes to the principal's office and picks up the phone. He starts calling his mom. Then the principal also came. The phone starts ringing. Actually, Nick felt that the phone was in his hand, but it was lying in its place. And now when the principal picks up the phone, Nick's mom was on the call. She asks him, is Nick in the class? On which the principal keeps the phone there and goes to check Nick in the class. And now he runs away from here. But then he bumps into a girl from which she falls down. But now when he saw her again, the girl started moving forward in her path. That is, she had not fallen. He ran away from here and came straight to his house, where there is a detective with his mom, who was looking for his room, so that he could get something useful from here. But he does not get any clue about Nick. Nick was not visible here either, while he could see and hear everything. Now this detective went straight to Unny from here, because yesterday she had a fight with Nick. The detective tells her that, someone had called the police station to catch you. Was it Nick? And he says, I don't know. I was with my friend at that time, the detective says and leaves. Because Nick has heard everything, he asks Ani, did you just hit me because you felt that I gave all the information to the police? Saying this, he pushes Annie down from the terrace, but the next moment, he saw that it was just felt by me, nothing like that happened, because Annie was still standing next to him, after which Nick came to his house from here. When he was lying in the room, his mom came, who starts reading his poems from Nick's diary, but leaving it in the middle, she left from here. Later, a sparrow comes and sits on Nick's shoulder. He removes it from there and holds it in his hand. Nick was very happy about this, because the situation that was happening to him, it was the first thing he could touch. Then his eyes fell in front. He saw that the bird in my hand has fallen in front, and is is suffering from injury, because she was about to die soon. And now the next moment she dies, with which it was disappeared from Nick's hand. Then seeing this, he understands everything. That is, he had found out that I am still alive. Only my soul has come out of my body. That is, I am in the middle of life and death, where my death can happen at any time, just like this bird. But if I die, then my soul will leave this world forever. The police found out the place where at that night Annie and her companions had beaten Nick. Nick's friend was also with the police, but he did not tell where Nick's body was, because he felt that I would get stuck like this, after which Annie and her companions would also beat me. But when Nick came, he came in front of the dog and the police, and tried to show them the way. That is, I am on the other side, but it is of no use. That is why even after looking for a long, the police did not find his body. Now Oni came to her house, Nick also followed her. He saw that Annie had a younger brother, with whom she loved a lot, actually her mother had died, and the father had married again. Annie never got love, no one took care of her. So, growing up without love and parents, she started following the wrong path. She told her brother that you should never be like me, she hugged her brother. There were tears in her eyes, because she herself did not want to be like this. But the circumstances forced her to be like this. She told her brother that, if fate has given me a chance, then I will definitely do a good job, so that you are proud of me. Now the detective came to Annie's friend. He says that Annie called you from jail that night, when she stole the jewelry. Was she with you at that night? He couldn't get into any trouble, so he had to come to this case even if he did not want to. He kidnaps Nick's friend and asks him, that where have you kept Nick's body? Nick's friend takes him to that place. Then Annie's friend shifts the body somewhere else, so that if anyone wants to tell the police, the police should never find the body. Then he makes a plan to kill Annie. He calls her to meet him. Before that, he kills her. Annie snatches the gun and points at him. Meanwhile, the police also come there. Then Annie successfully escapes from here. When she was running away, Nick tells her, Don't run away Annie, they will catch you. Then Annie says never and runs away from here. Nick was very surprised to hear this, because Annie could hear him. And now when she was sitting, Nick comes to her and says, I know Annie, you can hear me. I am around you because I am still alive. I can't escape. You just tell the police where my body is. Now Annie apologizes to him for what she did. Then Annie goes to the place where they had kept Nick's body. But obviously it was not there. Because Annie's friend threw it somewhere else. But here she finds chewing gum wrapper that Nick's friend used to eat. So they both understood that. Nick's friend is also involved in the disappearance of the body. So now Annie catches his friend and asks him where Nick is. His body is not there where it was kept. Now, he tells Annie the whole truth. He says, Annie, what you are thinking has never happened. You were trying to get me to say the name that night by beating. I took Nick's name without thinking anything. Because I thought he went to London. But he didn't go. 
he was here, and it never happened that he gave all the information to the police, and no, I told the police, and yes, I didn't remove Nick's body from there, your friend did, because he is the root of all the trouble, he called the police and told them about you. Hearing this, Annie shocked, she was quite surprised to know the truth, but along with this, she was also sad, so Annie goes straight to her friend, she takes him to the gunpoint, and tells him, that I know the whole truth about you, and now tell me where is Nick's body, so now he has to tell her, he says that Nick's body is near the dam, take him out of there quickly, or else the water will take him away, and now, when Annie starts going from there, her friend shoots her, which injures her and she falls down, before the second bullet kills her, Annie shoots him and throws him down, and she ran away from here and calls the police, and she says that now you don't have to look for me, I'm going from here, and yes, just do one thing for me, I have some money in my college locker, just give it to my younger brother, also, Nick is alive, his body is near the dam, when Nick was with his friend, he sees that my friend is feeling ashamed, he feels that if Nick is not in this world today, then it is because of me, so he takes poison, although Nick stopped him a lot, but he could not hear him, when his condition starts to worsen, so his friend's soul comes out of his body, which Nick could see now, and he could see Nick, and then his friend's mom and dad came, they also found out that our son had taken poison, but his condition was not so bad, Nick reached near the dam, soon he finds his body, and then the water starts coming from the dam, so he started taking his body, but he himself could not lift his body, he screams for help, but no one hears his voice, there was no one around, and then the detective, Nick's mom and everyone else comes, the police closed the dam, as soon as they found his body, they immediately took him to the hospital, but his condition was very bad, there Annie also somehow reaches the hospital while escaping the police, there was also Nick's soul with her, before Annie could go inside and meet Nick, Nick's mom sitting outside the ward, she sees her, she was angry, so she slaps Annie's face hard, she said, whatever the condition of Nick today, it is because of you, Nick felt bad, he shouted loudly, mom, what are you doing, but mom didn't listen, and he said, it's okay, Nick, she loves you, that's why she's angry, Nick's mom asks, what are you saying, then she tells her, Nick is here, around me, Nick's mom says, but I don't believe you, if you're right, then prove it, Nick tells A to tell his mom that after I disappeared, you came to my room, and read a poem from my diary for the first time in life, then you left it in the middle and went away, because you became very emotional after reading it, and now through any, Nick tells his mom that, you had a very bad time after dad passed away, I could never understand it, but now I can understand everything, Nick's mom says, okay, tell me what do you want, then any says, I want to meet Nick once, because I am the only one who can help him, I can bring him back, so now Nick's mom allows her to go inside, coming near Nick, Ani's eyes were filled with tears, and she says, please come back, then she laid her head on his shoulder, and now in a few moments, Nick wakes up, that is, his soul comes back to his body, Nick asks Annie, can you see me, she says, yes, I always wanted to do a good job, Nick says, and today, you did it, you brought me back, you saved my life, and now Nick was saved, but Annie died, because the poor girl was shot, and the injury was too deep, and she was not being treated, but she didn't care about her own life, saved Nick's life, and proved herself right, now Nick went to Annie's brother, who was flying a plane, Annie's brother says, my sister used to bring me here, who is no more here in this world, she was very nice, the child was sad, then Nick tells him to cheer up, let's send a message to Annie, we tell her, hey Annie, is it okay, Annie's brother says, yes, they write this and send the plane into the air, both of them were seeing the plane flying, and the story ends.